Hello and welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. I'm Pam Baumgartner and I'm going to be hosting the program today. I'm also owner and operator of VenturaRocks.com. I'm the music scene columnist for the Ventura Breeze newspaper and I host a local radio show on KPPQ LP out of the CAPS Media Center and it's appropriately called the Pam Baumgartner Music Hour. Well, just to get you acclimated to what's going on right now, we have Michelle Hoover behind the scenes and she's producing the show from GWC Productions. But it's also, if you're watching this in the future, it is in the middle of a pandemic. We have COVID-19 going on right now. So we're doing everything virtually. We're out in cyberspace, so to speak. So joining me right now in the virtual studio is lead singer Mark Prudeau of Carry On Band. Thanks for joining the show, Mark. Thanks for having me, Pam. I've been looking forward to meeting you. This is so cool. This is very cool. I've heard a lot about you from Michelle. She's seen you and uh, playing with the, uh, the guitar and whiskey club, and she just raves on and on about how great you guys are live. So this is very so exciting cool. to have you on the show. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. Michelle's great. Really appreciate her support, you know, and appreciate yeah. what you're doing. This is great. You've got so wow. many things going on. You're a writer, a rock writer. You're a, <laughs> got your own radio show. You've got this uh, website streaming thing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's a lot going on. But you know, everything sort of came to a halt, you know, three, four months ago with this pandemic. So what is the band doing right now? Because you used to play live, but you can't do that anymore unless you're a part of the drive-in movie the, or the drive-in concert experience. So what is yeah, the band know, doing right? the past few months? Yeah, I it that is an interesting concept, that whole drive-in uh, thing. But no, we're not we're not part of that yet. And uh Right now we're writing remotely. So I'll get, you know, Pete Saranon is the main writer for the band. So he'll he'll conceptualize something, he'll send it to me. I'll throw down some scratch vocals on it, send it back to him. Then it goes to Adam, the drummer, and he'll lay down a, you know, a scratch track. And then we start the whole thing over again, you know, tweak this, right. tweak that, you know, just going around in circles. So we're writing right now and um, doing stuff like this. And then I've been doing some uh, some streaming on my own, um, just solo stuff with an acoustic guitar, just you know, to keep in touch with the people that are out there that want to see right. us. And, you know, we want to see them too. So you know, right. And that's I think that's keeping people connected is doing those live streams. The fans yeah. and the bands they need that connection. We do. We all we all need it. You know. So yeah, it, it's and important. I've always said. And I've always said in Ventura that, you know, there's three elements to every music scene. There's the venues, there's the bands, and then there's the music fans that support this effort. So together, we all make the music scene rock. Yeah, the music, the music fans are the scene. You know, without the fans, there is no scene. You can have a band, you can have a venue, but if you don't have the fans, you got nothing. Yes, so, so true. All right, let's play the first clip um, and then we're going to talk some more. This first song that we're going to be, uh, be playing a clip of is called Long and Lean. Take it away, Michelle.
Mark, rock and rolling. God, I miss it's those scary. guys. I haven't seen them for a long time. I'm gonna have to give the bass player Jesse a call. This is the first time I've seen them on, you know, even on screen for weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So why don't you go ahead and give us the background on the band? First off, how it got formed and the members and how um the name of the band, how you how that came up and the concept for that. And then we'll talk a little bit about how to, it evolved with another snippet in between. So give me the background on the band first. Okay. So um uh Pete started the band with uh um, a friend of, actual, a mutual high school friend of ours named Isaac Avila. Um, and uh, during that progression of the band, um, Pete's cousin, Ray, his, his name was Ray Carrion, uh, passed away. And uh, they did a bunch of shows um, for, um, you know, like parties in, in memory of, of Ray, right? And uh, so when they were talking about naming the band, Isaac came on, came up with the idea of let's just call it the carry on band in, in honor of Ray carry on, but you know, change the spelling of it. So it, the music will carry on in his memory. So right. that's how that started. And then Isaac passed away as well. So, you know, the band's just plagued with, you know, this kind of stuff, but um, Adam and I joined the band. Well, Adam joined the band first. And then I came into the band uh, and we had a, another bass player at the time whose name was Rick Cruz and Rick passed away, you know? So like, I'm telling you, it was just, it, it, it was horrible. <laughs> oh so God. Anyway, that's how, that's how the band started. We did a bunch of fundraisers and, and um, you know, like a lot of charity work we would do, uh, um, Relay for Life every year because uh, Rick passed away from cancer. So we would do the Relay for Life things. We were uh, also had a singer in the band for a while, uh, Jerry Salas, who's the lead singer for El Chicano. And um, oh, wow. he's also the, uh, um, he has a, 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 a charity that he does for veterans called Rock for Vets. And um, so we did a bunch of fundraisers, you know, for uh, Rock for Vets and things like that. Jerry ended up leaving the band, you know, to because he got more too busy with El Chicano. And um, so they, I took over the lead vocal spot at that point in time. And we started recording uh, uh, original music and um, went through a whole series of different members uh, and have settled in now with uh, uh, Jesse Silguero on bass and Ruben Reza on rhythm guitar. So, okay. it's, and Pete Serenana, Adam Ponce, and myself are the the three, you know, permanent members. I guess you would right. say. So. Right. Okay. Good. All right. Well, we're going to get more on this in just a bit. We're going to play another cut. Um, this one, a video that is um, only a dream.
We're going to be doing a cut in just a second here, Mark, of a studio session where, from what I understand, you have the drummer and he's in the studio and he's doing his part of the song because, you know, not everyone's always in the studio producing it at the same time. But can you give me a background of where that was produced and how long ago it was? Okay, that particular session was done at in uh, at Simon Phillips Studio uh, Phantom Recordings in Van Nuys at the time. Uh, Simon no longer has that studio. He's working out of um, of uh, uh, Ojai now at a, a place called Carbonite. Carbonite sound with I know a, Carbonite well. I know Dan Grimm very well. Yeah. You know Jason Mariani then? That's uh yes, so that's no not Jason, yet. So Jason's one of the owners up there as well. Okay. And uh, Simon has been working there quite a bit. And the cool part about the the clip with um with Adam, this was this was a few years ago, you know, maybe th three years, two maybe three years ago, I think. Um but that was when Adam first met Simon and we had started to work with him on producing the, uh, the, the music, right? And the cool, mm -hmm. the cool thing about it is that Adam has idolized Simon since he was a kid, right? And he's always wanted to work with him. So the, on the very first day that we showed up there to record, Adam was as nervous as, as can be, right? But you know, he's meeting his idol. The funny thing is now they're best of friends. they wow. Adam is his drum tech, and you know, they work together all the time. They're, you know, in the studio, you know, once a week, you know, they're or or even more. I I, I can't keep up with them. But it was so cool to watch that transition. I mean, I've never gotten to work with any of my idols. So to be I able guess. to see that happen, it's, you have, did you say? So you you know what it's like then if you've done it. I mean, it's just, what for me, just watching it is, it's incredible to, to be able to right. see somebody's dream come true like that, so. Very That's cool. All right, and this one is called Queen of Hearts. Mark, that's amazing work right there, I got to say. I know that you guys have a CD in the works and it's been a slow process, but when do you think it will be released in the future? <laughs> well, that one's up to Pete. Pete calls the shots on this stuff and as soon as he's ready to go, it will be out there. But um, we're all chomping at the bit to, to, see, it, to see it go. Uh, we, we recently did, and I can't, you know, I can't show it to you, but we recently recorded uh, uh, a video of uh, 
of a song with a couple of actors and a, and a producer kind of concept video, right? And mm -hmm. uh, as I was, as my, my girlfriend was looking through previews of different movies that we might want to watch, right? And she came across this movie called um, A Girl Like You, I think is the name of it. And the opening scene of the, uh, of the preview is the male lead, was the male lead for the video that we shot. So it was cool to see him, you know, in some in a feature right. film. So that was pretty cool as well. So. Very nice. Well, I got to say for the audience that's watching the video right now of Ventura Rock Spot that you can find out more about Carry On Band. They are on social media. They have a YouTube channel. Um, their website is carry-onband.com. But if you Google Carry On Band, you can find all of these ways to get a hold of them and follow them and uh, see what they're up to. But um, that's about all the time we have, Mark. I want to thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me, Pam. It was great to finally do this with you. I hope we get to thank do you. work together more. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of the Ventura Rock Spot. On behalf of Michelle Hoover and GWC Productions and Mark Prudeau of Carry On Band, thanks for watching. I'm Pam Baumgartner, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>